Hey everybody, Mr. Kaczynski here, and we're going to work through Section Q, Transformations and Similarity in ISL's 8th grade math. Uh, skill number three today, dilations, finding coordinates, very similar to what I did in the last video, actually, um, where we were just graphing. I introduced this idea of finding the coordinates. Um, so basically, same exact thing in this one. Here we go. So, if we're doing a dilation with a scale factor of 4, that means that any point in the form x, y is going to transform into 4x, 4y. So fancy way of saying just multiply each uh, coordinate value by 4. All right, so let's do it. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, and 0 times 4 is still 0. All right, so now we'll plot these points, even though in IXL terms we're done, but I want to show you that it actually works. So let's go 8, negative 4, 8, 8, and negative 4, 0. When we connect these points, we'll have the same exact triangle, but bigger. And not only is it bigger, its placement actually matters on the coordinate plane as well. Um, I chose this one because everything, it's around the origin. So when you draw a line connecting the origin to the new uh, vertice, it goes right through the old vertice, which is kind of interesting. And also corresponding sides are parallel. So HF is parallel to H prime, F prime. All right, this one does not surround the origin, so I want to take a look at how that works when we dilate it. Uh, this time we're doing a dilation with a scale factor of 2. So again, the rules I think are quite simple. That xy transforms to 2x2y. So we just double every single value. Negative 3 times 2. Uh, 3 times 2, 0 times 2, 3 times 2, negative 3 times 2, and 5 times 2. So let's plot these points and see that it works. Negative 6, positive 6, um, 0, 6, and negative 6, 10. So there's our new image. Notice it's uh, it's it's two times bigger. Okay, all its sides are twice as long. Its area is actually four times as long. When we go from origin to the new image vertice, uh, you see these red lines go right through the old vertice as well. All right. All right, now let's do a dilation by a scale factor that's less than one. Okay, and look what happens. So a dilation with a scale factor of one third. Okay, that's gonna shrink it. So x, y in this case will transform into one third x and one third y. So we'll just take a third of negative nine, which is negative three, a third of zero, which is zero, a third of negative 9, which is negative 3, a third of 9, which is 3, a third of 9, which is 3, and a third of negative 6, which is negative 2. When we plot these points, negative 3, 0, negative 3, 3, and 3, negative 2, we get this. Notice again, all the points here are or all the lines are parallel to the corresponding lines on the original image. And I think we'll also do the from the origin to the new vertice, noticing how it goes right through the old vertice as well. One more. Uh, this time, again, it's the shape is not centered around the origin, which I think makes it a little bit different. Uh, we're doing a scale factor of one half, so xy becomes one half x 
1 half y. So half of negative 10, half of 6. Half of 10, half of 6. Uh, half of negative 10, half of 8. And then we plot these points. So negative 5, 3. Right there, 5, 3. Right here, and negative 5, uh, 4. Right here. Because the scale factor is 1 half, you're going to see that this side length right here is a length of 1 as opposed to 2, which is what it originally was. This is 10 as opposed to 20, and this one is half as much as well. Um, and then let's connect the origin to the corresponding points. There's L goes right through L prime. There's N goes right through N prime. And there's to M goes right through M prime. All right, so that's how you find the coordinates uh, after dilations have been performed. Good luck, and let me know how it goes.